Every year we see thousands of people electrocuted or injured in their homes due to electricity-related accidents. If you have loose wires running through your homes, it is high time you do something about them. With common sense and little foresight, you can prevent accidents that occur due to electricity. Let me know how to prevent electrical hazards. 1. Always use insulated tools while working. 2. Always use appropriate insulated rubber gloves and goggles while working on any branch circuit or any other electrical circuit. 3. Never try repairing energized equipment. Always check that it is de-energized first by using a tester. When an electric tester touches a live or hot wire, the bulb inside the tester lights up showing that an electrical current is flowing through the respective wire. Check all the wires, the outer metallic covering of the service panel, and any other hanging wires with an electrical tester before proceeding with your work. 4. Never use an aluminum or steel ladder if you are working on any receptacle at height in your home. An electrical surge will ground you and the whole electric current will pass through your body. Use a bamboo, wooden, or fiberglass ladder instead. 5. Always use a circuit breaker or fuse with the appropriate current rating. Circuit breakers and fuses are protection devices that automatically disconnect the live wire when a condition of short circuit or overcurrent occurs. The selection of the appropriate fuse or circuit breaker is essential. Normally for protection against short circuits, a fuse rated 150% of the normal circuit current is selected. 6. Always put a cap on the hot. Live wire while working on an electric board or service panel as you could end up short-circuiting the bare ends of the live wire with the neutral. The cap insulates the copper ends of the cable thus preventing any kind of shock even if touched mistakenly. 7. Take care while removing a capacitor from a circuit. A capacitor stores energy and if it's not properly discharged when removed it can easily cause an electric shock. An easy way to discharge a low-voltage capacitor after removal from the circuit is to put the tip of two insulated screwdrivers on the capacitor terminals. 8. Always take care while soldering your circuit boards. Wear goggles and keep yourself away from the fumes. Keep the soldering iron in its stand when not in use. It can get extremely hot and can easily cause burns. 9. Avoid water at all times when working with electricity. Never touch or try repairing any electrical equipment or circuits with wet hands. It increases the conductivity of the electric current. 10. Always check all your GFCIs once a month. A GFCI is an RCD. They have become very common in modern homes, especially in damp areas like the bathroom and kitchen as they help avoid electrical shock hazards. It is designed to disconnect quickly enough to avoid any injury caused by overcurrent or short-circuit faults.